Welcome to Power Up. This is a weekly show that Trisha and I do uh, so we can talk about what we're playing, watching, and reading every single week, whether it's on the YouTube page, whether it's live here on Trisha's uh, Twitch channel. But mm -hmm. every other week, we get a guest involved to ask them what they are playing, watching, and reading, mainly to give us a little bit of a week off so we can get a new Power Up for the week after. That's but this cool. time, we've got an incredibly cool guest. Trisha and I both know him. Trish, you have worked with our guest for quite some time. Tell me a little bit about your relationship before we bring him on. Uh, I have had the extra special opportunity to work with today's guest for three years full time at SourceFed. Uh, we were co-founding members of SourceFed Nerd Together, which basically de meant that we developed a lot of content and shows that no one ever saw. Um, <laughs> but we had a really good time doing it. And then we got to work together at Comic-Con HQ and I have had the pleasure of having this guest um, guest on lots of different shows that I've worked on all over the internet, and I've come and worked with him. We were on Polaris Primetime together on Disney XD, and he is just one of my go-to people whenever anyone's like, hey, do you know any male co-hosts that you work well with? I'm like, actually, yes I do. Let me proudly introduce you to Mr. Steve Zaragoza. Yay! Hello! Welcome, Hello. Steve. Thank yeah. you for being on Power Up. Thank you for having me. That was a sweet tro. <laughs> well, you're a sweet, sweet boy, and we love you very much. And now you and Maud also got to work together on SourceFed. Talk to me about it's your working good. relationship. Well, we only worked together for about 15 months because I kind of pieced out a little bit earlier than some people. Uh, but in that time, it was a little bit of a roller coaster in the sense that we were kind of initially uh, all a little bit, um, you know, put either here or there and we were interchangeable. But then that kind of changed halfway through where they wanted to really define roles. And it was quite interesting to realize that the more popular channel with the more subscribers no one really wanted to work there and nerd became like the coolest place to be and everyone wanted to work for nerd. <laughs> and I, I thought that that was well, really it's, cool because nerd it's was because quick. it was the it, we it's interesting that the nerd channel were the cool kids because we got to go to fun and fantastic fest and we got to go to all these like you know e3 and trisha to ces and like everybody yeah. was like what i remember joe the first year we went to to comic-con as source fed nerd joe was like oh I'll go to, I'm, I'm a nerd too i want to go to comic-con yeah. i'm like nah nah no nah, you gotta do your news talk about <laughs> while me and trisha go work our our asses off <laughs> but about fun stuff all... and that, i think that was the thing yes, too yeah. is they hired a bunch of actors and comedians and then asked us to do the news so it was like source fed yeah. you can do world news and news proper which let's be honest, is not very fun when that's not your chosen profession. Like, none of us were journalism majors. None of us went into this trying to be reporters. We just wanted to have a good time and goof around on camera, which SourceFed gave us the opportunity to do while also talking about the news. But it, it was like, oh, man, well, if I can do that and talk about comic books and video games, or I can do that and talk about world news. Like, everyone's <laughs> going to choose comic books and video games. But I also found that like yeah. my fondest memories aren't, oh man, I broke this story or I made this opinion. My fondest memories are like bloopers or table talk uh, stories or just things that unraveled or were like super, super like bonding or personality based things that had nothing to do with the news. Like, see, <laughs> when <laughs> they're called online, it's uh, Steve's most offensive bloopers yet. But when we did Geekly News, and Geekly News was something that I wanted to bring to the table where it was like making a parody of news, but then also we pretended that Steve and I were this like newly divorced couple that had to keep it professional on camera, <laughs> but we'd, we would keep like obliterating each other with mercilessness, um, you know, remarks. <laughs> and one of the ones that you, you said about my poor vagina, <laughs> like, leaves me to very <laughs> today so i don't know if you ever saw a fisher but he would just lean over and be like it's like someone kicked open a tangerine with a steel toe boot <laughs> <laughs> someone put a firecracker in a pot raised <laughs> like but you just he's on the spot and like 
there was no hope for us. Like I could not keep it together. I still can't keep it together. What is it? Three, four years later, I still can't not laugh when I have. When I mean, we were we were really blessed to be able to like literally. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the chappy? What's the chappy <laughs> reference? Oh my god, you're like, and the news today, or like this guy from the movie, this District 9 and chappy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that show was totally fun. We got to just like make each other laugh. Yeah, I couldn't burn make the you crew away that you got me, but... <laughs> now, was Nerdly News the same thing, or Geekly News? Was that, like, what we called Nerd News? Uh, no, well, because we... Nerd News was, like, a serious attempt at, like, trying to cover Nerd News, and Geekly <laughs> News was parody of that. Okay. Like, we had, like, Nerd News to talk about, and we actually yeah. did, but it was, like, it was a highlight in between those things the new segments yeah but it wasn't about right. that at all right. it was about these snide yeah remarks usually about you know we obviously had a, a past and we couldn't keep it off the the uh the program Hilarious. so we were just talking about our our personal lives and it was basically like <laughs> which was great we were both miserable in the bedroom and that i was trying to uh steal you for every cent that you had it was like a bunch of things right. like super <laughs> uncomfortable because i didn't know that that was um you know i it was getting a bit too close to home sometimes i was like what's going on this is really funny and you're like ah <laughs> <laughs> i mean didn't that's you, oh and you did we're missing, out, we're missing one of the best parts of, which was that you were doing american accent i would try to do an I, american accent yeah because i was an american i think you were news anchor <laughs> and i couldn't say yeah, star, so, wars. star wars star wars star wars <laughs> but then i also did the yoda oh, well. nation our greatest <laughs> <Like, laughs> <laughs> part of you for using my real voice just <laughs> but i i actually watched um a handful of bloopers i think it was just yesterday because that to me was just the funniest stuff and it's just ingrained and I will never not find them funny. Yep. I mean, there were tough times for sure, but there were totally so many times and uh, we had a blast. I, I wouldn't trade those memories for anything. Steve, <laughs> Steve do you have any old uh, bloopers or any old specific videos that you'll rewatch every now and then fondly? Oh, the bloopers are always good. Everybody was so good. I mean, there was a reason why you saw you saw on all these shows because everybody had something special to bring to the table, and uh, and even when you know when someone wasn't particularly your flavor or whatever, you would you would watch the bloopers and they would just be like you would see how we were all real people really yeah. trying to keep it together, <laughs> and that's where you really kind of like saw that you know I guess it kind of like everyone's minds a little bit that we weren't just these like uh you know these you know trying to just these people trying to be journalists which yeah. we weren't but um but yeah i'll watch the bloopers because it was such a showcase uh everybody just kind of like being themselves and just i love making people laugh and i love it when people make me laugh and i just love to laugh and those are absolutely the best of the best i'll actually watch some source that animated sometimes too because those oh, are a lot of fun those are a lot of fun shout out to andre who's like super killing it now all oh, over man. YouTube. He's the best. <laughs> andre is the best yeah there's a video there's so the two there's two super old videos that i will go back to time and time again and it's one that i think Megan Tonjes took on her phone, and it might even be on her channel, not SourceFed or SourceFed Nerd, where we're all singing King of Wishful Thinking in the old writer's room at the top of our lungs. And I'm just like eating a massive tuna fish sandwich. And like, like it just makes no <laughs> sense. It's just in this public? random snippet of behind the scenes at SourceFed from the very beginning. And it's so I mean, funny. that writer's Huh? Truly, a, a, 
writer's room was really a beautiful place for us to all play and have fun, but also work really hard. I remember there was a there was a vine where I think I was like filming Ross or something, and you can see you in the background fully just falling, falling asleep. asleep at your table. Oh. It's like we're working because we started nearly at six a.m., and- <laughs> which meant I had to get up at five every oh, day. Funny. Right. Oh, I miss that. God. Yeah, I think it was Ross. It was behind me, like dancing, and I'm in the foreground just doing this. And like to the point where, like, almost my head dropped, and I had to catch myself. Like that's yeah, how really great. asleep it was a I great was. Moment. <laughs> and it was yeah, not those a little... cue to sleep. It was like slight drool, total face malformed. Yeah. Oh, sleep. you were like done. Totally done. That and do you remember the video that Phil just randomly walked in the writer's room and filmed of me jumping out of a box and then Joe? Oh, I'll never forget it. That's one of my favorites. If I'm in a bad mood, I just go back and watch that video because Joe is so funny in it. I mean, it's surprising to me even to this day how you were able to get yourself into the best of places, Trisha. That was such a... The random addition assistant skill, skill of that you being have. able to contort yourself into very, very tiny balls. Uh, yeah, chat- I mean, it was always amazing every time. The chat's going off about our album, uh, Steve, and I really want to take this time to tell everyone that you and I have been actively talking about this album. Um, I mean, this year we've brought it up twice. I brought it up at the. I brought it up yes. in January because I just had this wave of inspiration where I was like, dude. We need to do this. We need to do the album. And you were like, great, really busy month. Let's check back in in around Feb, March. And then, of course, quarantine hit. And then I was like, oh, man. And then I was like, dude, just send me the tracks and I'll drop the audio. Like, I'll just sing. And so this is something that we have, like, honestly spent a lot of time or talking about. Um, but there, it's not out of yeah, the Yeah, I have the receipts. Right. I, I mean, we we even a joke we've totally been talking about this still and uh we i uh I even... we went through them yeah all. yeah i think yeah i've got them all listed out and i've got all the chords and stuff and i think i even sent you like a demo for an album version of one of the songs yes, i was like did. yeah because you got on, you yeah i think so uh, yeah yeah because it had like uh an intro and it had a first chorus and i don't think we've ever had that much of it or whatever but yeah, i remember yeah, you were just like talented talented assholes i love you dearly i, I know well crazy. you know we're just can't be contained trisha <laughs> well thank you but so you know what it did it did because we just i mean come on we were always with like weirds and instruments and stuff on the set anyway and so and, and if you're in, and within half an hour oh no actually within half an hour we had about six songs for the album but like well i love that about you mod you were always down to like play with that kind of stuff just like trisha you guys are just like the best at playing along with weird bits and just throwing weird musical things into the mix and those are magical beautiful days um, I think the sad part about um, starting the song "Freezing My Eggs" is that I actually have got gotten to an age where I legitimately need to start freezing my eggs. Now you're into it, and I've got an anthem for it now. So, can you guys give us like <laughs> just a small teaser of one of your songs? Maybe "Freezing My Eggs" since you brought it up. <clears throat> oh, oh, like like for real? Yeah, I mean, if you can, if you can, I totally understand. I'm putting you on the spot, but if it's, I mean, I can go grab the guitar right now. Oh, yeah. Should I go grab it? All yeah, right, let me go guitar. grab it. Let me go grab it. Yeah, have it on hand. Steve. The easiest part about a lot of our songs, Trisha, is that they really only one of them we actually have two verses and a chorus. Go to school is our most thought out, fleshed out song. But freezing my eggs, Sam is my friend. Uh, out of like they're basically only just like the one phrase just sung over and over again and oh, yes. my is one of them well steve so my only songs with steve were all my only songs with steve were all by accident yes. so it was like how- steve would sing a song <laughs> near me and i would like try to participate but not very well and then i would just end up laughing through the entire rest of the song <laughs> or there was a song that 
was a horrible, weird noise that came out of my mouth in like in between takes that they used <laughs> yes! in bloopers that Owen Dude. remixed into like this sick beat that then people put to Royals and yes. all sorts of. <laughs> Well, because you were just like, okay, so I really went down the rabbit hole of that mm -hmm. song, like maybe a couple of years ago. And the origin of it is because Owen was editing some source fed nerd thing. And at one point you were just kind of like in between takes, like while the, the script is being scrolled or something, you were just like, ah, but I also like, I also did this, which made it weirder. So like, you know, you're standing on your Apple box, you're reading, and I totally did something that was like, da, 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 da. Like I just, I was just like in between takes trying to like shake it out and like focus oh, on the I next so thing. Much. And yeah, Owen remixed it into this like beat that then people put to different hip hop songs and it was so yeah. funny. That's amazing. And then we, we took that and took it with us. So it does. And then I did a parody of Royals where your <laughs> was like the perfectly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, it all did. my songs with Steve were by accident together. because I'm not actually musically talented at all. So I'm excited to hear what you two can put together, both being musically talented people. Do you, do you want to do out of gas? Because I've got the cord here. Yeah, out of might be better. Yeah. Because freezing my eggs is literally just like. It's O4, it's... C, and F. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah that's a... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Is that O4? Yeah, I'm freezing my eggs. Oh, no, I was doing out of gas. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. But anyway, that's all freezing my eggs is anyway. It's that just was just literally like, like <laughs> yeah, but then it was freezing my on and crescendo and yeah, because it's just are freezing my eggs, I'm freezing my eggs, 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 so stupid. Yeah, that one was stupid. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, live in a, or which one is it? Go to school? Yeah, go to school is the best. Out of gas, 04, 04. Oh, out of gas. Yeah, out of yeah. gas is good too. Yeah, okay, so well, that's 04. Mike breaking up a little bit though. That's number four, C and F. Damn, why is that happening? This doesn't, this has never happened to me before. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it, what if I switch? Now, this is, this might be an insane idea. And I know Amy's freaking out right now because she's like, what are you going to do? But what if I, what if I, Went, switched from this microphone to a different microphone because what it's what if it's the microphone you is can that, totally that? try that and i'm the one whose face you would be freaking out right now um but you can totally okay, try okay, that okay. just in uh we're using google meets a little behind the scenes for everybody in google meets you would just need to change your audio input with the dot dot Great. dot right hand side so yeah and change that. that and see if if you have a different mic that you like better what's the mic if that's better Nope. No? Nope. Is it the same? It's still a bit free. It's just delayed, dude. Why is this happening? I hate it. I just want to have a good time with my friends. What if you take your headset out? Would that do anything? Better? No. Wow, bummer. Yeah, I don't think Microphone. it's your mic. It was worth trying, but I don't think it's your mic. Yeah, what could it be? I, I haven't, this is not an issue I have. Listen, I never have a problem. Well, and at least before the show, it would be a little laggy and then stop and then a little bit and then stop. Yeah. So. I'm not saying it's my connection, but I'm hardwired and we did a speed test and I'm golden, baby. Well, when we did the speed test, you had no lag, to be fair. So it might be doing this as everything in Los Angeles is right now with like, quarantine Friday and shelter afternoon. in place orders everybody's internet except for mods everybody's internet is like i'm here i'm not here i'm here i'm not here mods is awesome now yeah but i had that one bad week that no one's forgiven me for yet are we doing it yeah. are we gonna still try to do out of gas really I quick i think you should yeah. still try to do it yes okay so let's see i think it's like yeah, yeah that's that's it right 
Cause uh, uh, what? How does it go? It goes. I'm out. That's not the right part. Oh right, 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 right. Oh yes. There it is. I'm out. I'm out. For my car. Yes, yes, very far. Because I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. Over and over and over again. But then it gets faster and faster and faster and faster, and then you slow it right down. And then you come yeah. back. I, was I love living on the download a phone lighter app just for you guys, but it didn't download in time. I'm sorry. Oh, um, bummer. Living on the streets is like that 70s kind of like hair musical. Uh huh. Like that's what oh, I say. Living, on the streets, living on the streets, living on the streets. <laughs> and then you just have to like jazz out a bit. Yeah, you got to. We got to finish this damn thing. Damn it. Anyway, I think it should happen. I think it should happen. And if you Time need, if you need a bonus track suggestion, yeah. I'll throw in Steve's Royals remix. Ah. Uh, yes. Thank you. I need a text. I'm gonna text Owen right away after this, and please tell me you have. I love him so much. Please that Trisha send track. him my love. So so very. I much, will. Stevie. All right. Well, we're gonna wrap up the interview portion of Power Up with Steve, and as we do that, we've got a little bombs away happening. Hello, Amy Cassandra Martinez. No, no, no. We don't. That's the next one. My bad. Okay. You know what? We're gonna call it here. There was Amy. She just said hi to pop in, but Amy we're gonna do power. Um, but before we wrap this up, what I do want to ask you, Stevie, is what's going on with the Valley folk? Where can people oh, yeah. find you now? What are you up to? We've done a lot of reminiscing, but what is Steve Zaragoza's life like right now? Um, it's comp it's complex because we're all in this dang quarantine together and trying to maintain a production company business is uh, quite complicated <laughs> but we're making work uh in between playing animal crossing so much i'm just chilling i'm just chilling just chilling working and chilling oh yes and i've been doing rooftop uh photo shoot we've been doing these like alana has been trying to do these like uh these these kind of cosplay -y kind of like uh almost like bounding instead of full cosplay, but she, we've, she's been bounding as these like characters. We've been doing these movie night streams. Yeah. And, and so she's been doing, and so we go to them and she's like, throw on this black jack and I'm going to cut some holes out of this old t-shirt and put on this hat and you're Zorro now. And I'm like, okay. And yeah. uh, I it's saw great. the Zorro. It looked really good. He's clever. It's really fun. We did a tremors one uh, where I was the tremor. And then uh, we did uh, we did something else I can't remember. Oh, we did the craft. Ooh. Very fun. You could see that. Yeah. Very cool. Perfect. And you are doing those streams, uh, the movie night watches with Anthony Carboni okay. on his Twitch channel, right? That's right. Twitch.tv slash Anthony Carboni. Uh, little plug for you. But yeah, every Tuesday night. You guys should uh, be in that at some point, please. Have time. Yes. I know um, you're good. He's I like, know. are you Anthony excited about horror at all? It's only what Tuesday nights? Oh, it was Tuesday it's nights. Tuesday night. Before my caffeine show went on hiatus. Now that it's on hiatus, I'm free on Tuesday nights. Oh, well, so here's what here's what I'll ask you. Um, look on Netflix for a movie that you really love. That you don't mind being talked over the entire time okay. with bits and jokes, and uh, and then text me that, and then we'll we'll throw it onto the poll, and then. When people choose it, we'll get up. I'm putting mine in right now. And see, the people in chat are also asking what yeah. your um, what your Twitch channel is, and if you stream, and if so, how often? Uh, yeah, my Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash the Valley Folk. And, you know, we got in trouble with Twitch because we were streaming on YouTube too much. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, when you're a Twitch like, partner, you can't do that, Steve. <laughs> I didn't know. We just look. We're we're just we're just little boys trying to make a company work, and we didn't know. And so I was doing it on YouTube because it, more people would come well, to the you, YouTube. You can still do it on YouTube. You just can't do them both at the same time. 
Um, right, w- right. We and well, we just weren't streaming on Twitch at all. So, oh. <laughs> so we were. Uh, so now I'm back on twitch.tv slash the book and I've been doing Animal Crossing there and we're going to do uh, some other things like Jackbox and I think I'm going to try a, um, Five Nights at Freddy's in VR because I've never played it before. Ooh, uh, have fun uh, with that. Yeah, good yeah. luck with that. That'll be terrifying. All I know, right, I can't Steve. wait. We love you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Steve is going to be hanging out with us for the playing, watching, and reading segments that will be coming up in just a bit. So hold on to your butts. Stay tuned. We'll have more Steve Zaragoza for you in just a second. Ah! <laughs>